Today, this scooter gets an uplift. It goes from something that is excellent to sexcellent. Check it out. What seems like so long ago now, I bought this Yamaha Jog CV50 for a mere $300. It was much unloved and the previous owner only use for it was to block a parking spot in the inner city so he had somewhere to park at the end of the day. It didn't always look like this however. Here's a picture of when we first got it. Unloved, not running, lots of battle scars in need of a lot of care. You can watch the full build series up here. Now it's come a long way since day one when I first got it. It's been repaired and finished with a custom paint job. It's now got aluminium wheels with a custom powder coated finish. The cylinder is a stage six street race 70cc. We've got a Polini CP21 carburetor, a full circle stage six crank, a Yasuni C10 exhaust, and of course, that retrim seat that looks excellent. It's also got a full sweep of stage six goodness in here, the CVT cover, and up here on the dash. But there's still a few little things that need finishing and that are letting this bike down. Namely, these, those, this, that, and that. But luckily, I've got everything here on the bench to finish it off and give you that uncomfortable feeling in your pants. Check this out. We've got a new CVT cover to go on, a new kickstart lever, a new shock absorber, a funky set of grips, and a set of stage six mirrors. Let's get into it. I'll be replacing the stock Yamaha Jog mirrors with these Formula One inspired mirrors from Stage 6. But are they any good? Stay tuned to find out. For anyone that's been watching the channel long enough, you know what my favourite grip is. So these ones are in the bin and on comes the Vans ODIs. And of course, they just had to be orange. For those that would like these grips too, just note that they are a bit long and you have to cut them down to fit on a scooter. Unfortunately, the shock absorber that I'm fitting here is a bit too long and has made the center stand redundant and useless, so it didn't make the cut. Off comes the stock CVT cover to make way for a Yamaha Jog 90 cover. Thank you to the subscriber that sent that out to me. Much appreciated. All right, so we have the CVT cover off. We have the new one painted and here they are side by side. And you can really see why I wanted to remove the original CVT cover because it's ugly. It is an absolute atrocity. Now it's got this weird security device here. There's a key at the front, you turn it, it locks the clutch, stops the bike from being stolen. Yamaha obviously thought it was ugly too. They designed this cover here to go over the top and pretty it up a little bit. But we won't be needing any of that now because we have this nice new Jog 90 case and um, it has the bearing here that supports the rear end. I had to use the bread to punch the bearing out. First time I've ever done that and it works an absolute treat. But now that we've done all this, let's put it all together.
right, here we go. Now I gotta say, stage six 70cc street race goes pretty damn good in these little jogs. The stage six mirrors, however, you can't see too much out of them. That's all right. goes pretty damn good all right we just get this car 